Hi, this is Donna Shevsky, and welcome to another episode of How'd You Do That? And today I'm going to show you some tips on making this card, but particularly I'm going to focus in on Stampin' Up's Adorning Accent Products. And basically that's this right here. It is an agelet die as well as a texture impressions embossing folder. So let's get started. Okay, so these fun products that I'm going to talk to you about today were released in Stampin' Up's Occasion mini catalog. And they are right here. They're agelet dies and then the textures impressions embossing folder. Now the agelet dies come like this. There's two of them, a scalloped edge and this kind of um, decorative edge. And um, they do not come, this is a piece of um, magnet that I have just made for this to keep these in place. And they'll store in this little envelope. Now the matching texture impressions embossing folders, there's three of them. And they come in, I'll come in a little bit closer here so you can see. There we go. They come in this scalp edge, this heart kind of polka dot and this fun little decorative edge as well. Now what I do is they do not come in a separate pack. I keep them along with my edgelets right in here. So that way everything is all together. So there's just a little tip for you. The first thing that I'm going to show you is how to cut the edge. So you want to get out your your edgelet. This is the one that we're going to be using. If you've never used these before, they have a raised edge and that is actually the cutting edge that you want to put against your paper. Now what I've done is I've played around with these a little bit and I have discovered a few things that I want to share with you. First of all, when you're doing um, the edgelets like this, you want to have your score line or your fold line of your card done first. Okay, so I have done that. But the other thing is you want your card to lay flat um, because these kind of move around if they, they're not on a flat edge. The next tip I want to show you is I have added a piece of grid paper just like this grid paper right here. This is Stampin' Up's grid paper. I've added a piece to my standard cutting plate. I've done that with temporary adhesive and I have dedicated this as my um, plate that I use for this product. Now why do I do that? So I'm going to come in close here so you can get a better view of it is for kind of like a template. See this nice bold line here? I'm going to use that to make sure that my paper is lined up straight. All right. And the other thing is, and I know it's hard to see in the video, I'll come in as close as I can here, but can you see the boxes that are, are um, along the edge here? This is, I use, I'm gonna position my edgelet here and I'm going to use that as my lining guide. So this goes up two boxes and then I will match it up on the other side as well by two boxes and then when I know that I have it exactly where I want it here is a tip that I learned at Stampin' Up's Leadership. I'm just going to let go. See how they kind of wiggle around a little bit? So to avoid that, once you get everything lined up, I'm taking a post-it note. This is the sticky side of it, and actually it was a longer note that I... I'm going to place it so it covers everything up, and it positions this so it stays where I want it. Okay, so let's talk about the sandwich here. You need your multi-purpose platform with all tabs. This is tab two. You're gonna place that the cutting pad, which is right here, on top of that, your cardstock, your adornment um, edgelet, and then a cutting pad on top. Okay, so I ran it through the big shot. One more tip that I want to share with you. These edgelets are exactly the width of the standard plate. So you do want to be careful that they don't overhang on the edges um, or they're going to bend in your big shot machine. So let's pull this up. Pull this off. And there we go. We get our nice edge there. 
And usually what I do is I just even leave my post-it notes right on here, especially if I'm doing several. Um, and then they're just kind of ready to go. And there you go. There's my tip for that. Now we're ready to add the matching edge with our texture embossing folder. You can see that right here. And I also like to use a post-it note to help hold that down when I'm going to put it through the machine. Now for the Big Shot Sandwich, I am using no tabs for my machine on the multi-purpose platform. And I know for some that you might want to use one tab. Then a cutting plate, the folder, and then another cutting plate. Okay, so here's what you get. Love that. Isn't that beautiful? Love the edge, the double kind of edge look to that. And because we scored our cardstock beforehand, now I know where to fold it. And I'm going to have that edge showing out there as well. So I hope you enjoyed this edge look card with a, a Stampin' Up's Adorning Accents. And be sure to stop by my blog for more inspiration at DoStampinWithDawn.com.